We've installed Rufus using the toolbox. Now we want to download any version of Windows. You should be able to actually select this. I think it's a little download. And then it should download or give us a thing. What version? So let's say we want version 10. And I wonder, it should give us a script with a whole bunch of builds. Yes. So then you can grab any build you want. Like my favorite build of Windows 10, let's say I didn't care about security and I just wanted a bare bones Windows 10 environment. I'd probably go the creator's update 1703, I think was like peak Windows 10. And then everything after it was just hot garbage. 20H2 was an awful. That would be like my second favorite. And then the last two releases I have just like been not happy with at all. But you can download anything directly from uh, the Rufus. I trust Rufus to do it properly. That would be my recommendation to download and install any version of Windows you want. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Absolutely awesome. So yeah, just do that and then install to your heart's content whatever version of Windows you want. Thanks Rufus team for putting that together. Yeah, you have to hit the little arrow button and then hit download and then do it. You might need to update your Rufus to version 4.0. That's the one I'm using right here. So you might be using an old version of Rufus. This is something they've added recently, I want to say. Yes, but no more navigating the weird nightmare ISO media creation tool, all that garbage. Just use Rufus and you're done. Save you so much time. And also, let's say you really hate the 22H2 update because it's hot garbage. You can just go to like 20H2. That's great. And then just launch the toolbox right here. Just go, okay, yeah, we need to fix our updates because Windows is going to take us on a wild ride and be a guinea pig, which nobody, ain't nobody want to do that. So what we'll do is just go right into the toolbox. And I do this on our, every system and I want to get my updates under control, I just hit security settings. This sets our GPOs properly and says, hey, don't update to the next feature update. Just install security updates for me, Windows. I know your shenanigans. Exit out of that, and then you won't be bombarded with a whole bunch of bad updates. And then when you do, you can just relaunch the tool and flip it back to default settings if there is an update that you want to get. Uh, but otherwise, it's just going to grab the bare essentials, the security that you should be getting in Windows. So I always recommend security updates. And then if you do want to make the leap on a feature update, you just set it to default, download it, and then set it back.